Mayor Mustangs, welcome to school for the week of January 11th. Let's start off the week with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, job well done. Let's see what's happening at Westlake this week. Date. We've been learning about context clues. Let's head to our instructional coaches to find out more. When strong readers come to an unfamiliar word, they can use context clues to help them determine the meaning of that unfamiliar word. Sometimes the author gives the definition of the word inside that particular sentence. The word that we've used on your posters is the word lanky, and we keep using Abraham Lincoln my favorite, in each one of the sentences. This sentence says, Abraham Lincoln was a lanky fellow. At six feet four inches, he was very tall and quite thin. So from that sentence and from what the author gives us, we can tell that lanky means tall and quite thin, just like our six foot four, very tall principal, Mr. Howe. Thanks, Mrs. Rowland. Let's now get some more information on lunches. Good morning, Mustangs. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about lunch. Last week, we announced that we were going to start charging for lunch. However, we just got word from the district that there will be free lunch for the rest of the school year. So that is both free breakfast and free lunch. We want you guys to eat both breakfast and lunch. So do that. Come through the line, get your free breakfast, free lunch, and make sure you're scanning your card every time. We still need you to scan your lunch card every time. Um, in addition to that, some of you may not know that we also provide a breakfast and a lunch for distance learning Fridays. If you would like a breakfast and a lunch for on Friday, come to the lunchroom right after school on Thursdays. So right after that bell rings, come pick up a little sack lunch to take home with you for Friday. If we have a short week, like today, there's only one day this week, there will be a lunch in the lunchroom on that last day. So like today, after school, right after the bell rings, those lunches will be ready for you, okay? So we'll talk to you later, Mustangs. Hello, mighty Mustangs. We are here for the Mustang Market and we have a surprise. Next week, we have some cool offers coming up. So work really, really hard today to earn those crazy points so you can afford some really awesome stuff next week. You're gonna want to save up. Thanks for the information. Let's now head to the Counseling Center for an update. Hey Mustangs and welcome to a new year. Just a reminder about second semester, January 19th is the first day of second semester. If you have any questions about your schedule, now's a good time to email your counselor. We will only be doing schedule changes for one day, which will be on Wednesday, January 20th. All schedule changes will be $5. We will do our very best to give you the changes that you need, but remember, we don't do schedule changes for lunch. In case you forgot who your counselor is, here is a reminder. Thanks again, Mustangs, and we're looking forward to an awesome second half of the year. Thanks, counselors. We now have a new head custodian. Let's go meet her. Hi, everyone. My name is Stephanie Gardino, but you may call me Stephanie. You may have seen me around here. I'm the new head custodian here at Westlake STEM, and I'm excited to be here. I used to be a head custodian when it was Westbrook Elementary, so I have a little bit of insight when it comes to the building. I am here to help you with anything you may need, so feel free to reach out at any time. Welcome to the Mustang family. There are five things that every Mustang needs to know. What is that, you may ask? Let's find out. What year will you graduate high school? 2025. What year are you gonna graduate high school? 
2025. What year did you graduate high school? 2014. What year will you graduate high school? 2026. 2025. 2025. What year did you graduate high school? 2004. 2026. 2026. 2025. 2026. What year will you graduate high school? 2025. 2026. What year will you graduate high school? 2025. What year will you graduate high school? <laughs> 2025. 2026. What year did you graduate high school? In 1988. 2025. What year did you graduate high school? I graduated high school in 2004. 2006. 2007. What year did you guys graduate from high school? 2012. 2012. <laughs> what year did you graduate high school? Uh, 1985. <laughs>
It is so important in each of our lives that we, yes, develop our own perspectives and opinions, and then we act consistent with those opinions and consistent with how we would act if we were alone and not influenced by those around us. In the end, those around us will come and go, but the consequences for our own actions will always be our own. Our next Mustang Musings Assembly will take place on Thursday, February 13th. Thanks for the recap. Let's take some time to recognize another Teacher of the Week. We are so grateful Ms. Steenblick joined us this year. Her classroom is a happy, safe space where students feel valued and know that they are capable of great success. She goes above and beyond to help her students meet their goals, and she shows how much she cares about them by celebrating their progress. She is a great example of hard work and kindness. We are so great to have you, Ms. Steenblick. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. This is Mustang Media. We have a new choir class starting third quarter during fourth period called Concert Choir. If you want to come and see what it's like, go talk to your counselor. It's a magic carpet on a Hear everyone's beautiful singing voice. With music, you can let all of your emotions spill out and you don't have to feel weird and sappy inside. You get to sing, you get to laugh. We got to go to Granger and be there for like a whole day to work on a concert. It was a lot of fun. Say yes, say yes.